coming up. This week, we're competing right here in Jackson. You guys are gonna be competing against Purple Diamonds in stands. We're gonna see the Purple Diamonds again at the Battle Royale. This is like Civil War. So pay attention! Because they've lost against us twice in a row, we know that we cannot let our guard down at all. Let's get it! One and two. Your captain is gonna be running practice this week. Your captain is gonna be doing cuts this week. Come on, Kyla, you messing I, up. I, I, I got him talking. Okay, come on. This is gonna be one of the craziest challenges ever for Kayla. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? That's her! That's the lady from the Florida team! Uh, what are you doing here? Supposed to be the best of the South, right? Everybody wants to see the Purple Diamonds and the Dancing Dolls. Give them a show. Oh, they didn't come to fight fair. They came to fight dirty. <laughs> All right, y'all. This week, we're competing right here in Jackson. This week, you guys were only competing in the stand battle category. You guys are gonna be competing against Purple Diamonds in stands. Last time we saw the Purple Diamonds, they beat y'all, and I wasn't too happy about that. Purple Diamonds is our biggest rival in Jackson. They're the only team that we're competing against this week. Last time we saw them, the Purple Diamonds beat us in stands. The first place winner is the Purple Diamonds. So this is a rematch. We're fighting for territory. This is like the Civil War. We want to make sure that we win. Y'all shouldn't have lost the last time y'all battled them. And this week, we're going to make sure that they understand that it was a fluke. We're going to see the Purple Diamonds again at the Battle Royale. And I'm already preparing myself for it. Y'all going to suck it to them from start to finish. We have had issues with Purple Diamonds for years. Patting other butts, all the trash talk or whatever. I don't have time for that. My patience is at zero for it. I want my girls to not focus so much on what happened. I want them to let this team know that we mean business and regardless of what happened in the past, that's not what's gonna happen this week. I think it's gonna be a lot better, but y'all don't have to worry about other choreography. We don't have to worry about anybody else. It's just stands and stands. Only. I'm kind of nervous for this week because it could either turn out good or it could turn out bad. If the Purple Diamonds win, people are gonna be like, the Purple Diamonds are better and all that. And that doesn't make our team look good at all. Okay, this week, things are gonna be a little bit different. Come on up here, Captain. Your Captain is gonna be running practice this week. Your Captain is gonna be doing cuts this week. Your Captain is gonna be doing formations this week. She's going to be doing everything and she also had to check herself. I'm gonna let Kayla run practice this week because next week, it's time for Battle Royale. It's like the Super Bowl of Major Red Dance. It is important that the girls are completely focused and ready, especially Kayla. Kayla is my captain. She knows that I'm gonna always keep her on her toes. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. I tell the girls that all the time. What people do that are leaders, they rise to the occasion, they address the situation, and they fix it. The fact that I am taking over the team on the Purple Diamonds Week, it's exciting, it's scary. I have missions now, not just a mission, but missions. Have to get this car ready, but I cannot lose Purple Diamonds again. Got it? I'm gonna go take a seat. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, pay attention! Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Dennis, what's wrong with you? I am Shanique, and I am the director of the Purple Diamonds Dance Team of Jackson, Mississippi. Four, five, six, seven, eight. The Purple Diamonds are great because we are flawless. One, two, three, we put on the show everywhere we go, and we are just that squad that you want to look at. We're going into this knowing that it's going to be Purple Diamonds, versus Dancing Dolls, okay? You're gonna have people in there that want you to lose just because you have won these last two times. The Purple Diamonds have a significant history with the Dancing Dolls. People love to see us battle. Over the last year, we've battled them two times and the Purple Diamonds have won both times, so we are really excited about battling them this third time. And y'all, this thing right here, this is out of the norm of what you usually do, but of course, you know, it's an answer to what we think the dogs are gonna throw because we think they have a hip hop stand. This competition is a little bit different because they've lost against us twice in a row. We know that we cannot let our guard down at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah! Make sure there's enough room for you to do your stunt. 
I guess y'all tired of winning against them. I guess y'all just want them to win this time. I guess that's what it is. Our strategy this week going into stand battle against the dolls is definitely pulling out more props, more antics, higher energy, longer stand battles, just coming in with a lot more than we're usually bringing because we know that they're going to step it up a notch. Let's get it! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The fact that we are battling purple diamonds and I got to prove to Miss Dunn that I can do this, it is a big week for me. With me leading practice, I have to beat Miss Dunn and bring out my inner Miss D. So, gonna be interesting. Eight, one and two, three, four, one and two, one. Kayla's gonna be running practice, making sure the formations are together, making sure that not only the team has the routines, but that she has the routines also. Am I crazy enough to do this knowing that we're going into a huge battle? Yeah. Five. Five. Stop. Come on, Kayla, you yep. messing up. I, I, I got it, I'm talking. Okay, come on. As a coach, everything kind of rests on your shoulders and everybody's looking at you to make all the decisions and to make moves and to make things happen. It's a pressure situation. And the same thing goes with having to lead stand battle at the battle royale. Six, seven. She needs to be under the gun a little bit under pressure so she can see what it's gonna feel like. The battle royale next week is a huge competition. They are the best of the best. So I need my captain, the leader of the squad, the head doll in charge. I need her to be in the right frame of mind. One, One and two, with two. Three and four. step out. Stop. Four. Practice is not going good. Kayla is the captain. You're the leader of the squad. You're expected to be able to train these girls to look like you or as close to like you as possible. One and two. Uh -uh. One, two, three. Kayla, four. you gotta step in on three. So, of course, I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, man, I got it. Just let me do it. But she's been, like, riding me. Like, I'm kind of like, so do you not trust me? OK, Captain, what's the first formation? After this part. I don't know. You running practice? No. Get in the middle, Brandy. You come down. You get on the front row over there. How are you making the decisions to move who, where, and where, and move them where? I think Kayla does put a lot of pressure on herself because she wants to do good, she wants to succeed. She's trying the best that she can, and you know, Miss Diana's just putting all this on her. This is gonna be a very, very tough week for Kayla. Because when I move y'all and I give y'all formations, I have a reason. Y'all get back in line, let me fix it. I'm doing all this to Kayla because I need for Kayla to be assertive and stand your ground have an answer for everything. It's called being prepared. She's gonna have to do that. I put the two of y'all together on purpose. Y'all feed off each other. I usually put Christiana and Cameron together because it's fun for me to watch them dance against each other. I put Micaiah either beside Kenjanae or Shakila because they gonna buck. Looking through the window and seeing Diana just ride Kayla the way she doing, I was not happy at what I was seeing. This week was supposed to be great. It was supposed to be grand. It's purple diamonds. Ms. Diana's trusting Kayla with the team. But to me, it didn't look like that. So uh, when you start making formations, I want you to think about that. I want you to think about how, how it, it's going to move, what it's going to look like. It was so embarrassing. And there was no other outlet but to just cry. And I hate crying, but I did it anyway. OK, you? Mm -mm. I'm, I'm just. Don't. She's upset because she wants me to just let her do the formations, but I can't just let you do this like this if I see that what you're doing is incorrect. It's, it's a really big deal, and we're battling against the Purple Diamonds, which is one of the best teams in Jackson. It's not as easy as it looks easy. Not really. I'm looking in the window, and I'm watching Kayla getting the girls where they need to be. But Diana is not that supportive. I know all of y'all's strengths and weaknesses. You know your team. Use them. Diana needs to learn to trust people. I want to see. I want to know, can Kayla do this? Because this is Kayla's future. When she gets her own team in her own studio, or whether she wants to stick around and help Diana ass out, she can do this. Well, you know what? I'm very nervous about this day now. I am. This is not what I came up here for. But you know what? I ain't worried. Kayla got it. We know the purple diamond's good, so we need Kayla to be ready. Tina is upset with the approach Diana is taking. 
But I think Tina needs to look at it as being a tryout for Kayla. Kayla wants her own studio. She needs to be built up to be a tough coach if she want to win these competitions. So I know we don't want Miss Donna howling at our kids, but it pays off. If I was Kayla, I would show her ass, baby. She's she gonna show her. A while. I, I appreciate the support, y'all, because right now, Oh, T Tina, a little hot. I know T Tina, baby. That hair oh, getting redder and redder by the second. Oh, guess what? That's your captain, and she doesn't back down. Kayla's ready. I'm ready, and I'm gonna support her 100%. You want her to run this practice, Kayla? Run this damn practice. I'm a bad, <laughs> and I don't take no. <laughs> you don't want that? <laughs> Coming up. Are y'all gonna do this or not? Yes, ma'am. We have to blow purple diamonds out of the water. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm noticing that you are struggling with running practice. This week, we are competing against the Purple Diamonds, and next week, with everything that's at stake with the Battle Royale, I need my captain that's gonna be leading my team to be tough. You need to be tough as damn concrete, tough as nails, tough as steel. This is gonna be obstacles that you're gonna come across, and you getting upset like you did in practice. It's just frustration. And in life, you're going to run into so many different situations to where you're going to be frustrated. But every single time you get frustrated, you can't just back down and walk away from it and just say, forget it, mm -hmm. and just fold up. You can't do that. Kayla's like my mini-me. And the more I push her in every challenge that I give her, she knocks it down like a brick wall. I want to see what she's going to be able to do in a high-pressure situation. I check my feelings at the door. I check my attitude at the door. I check my personal life at that door. So that when I come in here, no matter what's going on with me, I don't take that out on y'all. You're going to become frustrated every day, probably for the rest of your life. But you can't bring that into your job. It's kind of crazy that I am taking over the team on the Purple Diamonds week. Ms. D is putting a lot of pressure on me, and it's kind of like, I want to show Ms. Donna that I can do this. And what what about what I asked you even made you fold up like that anyway? No, I think it was the when you was like giving the formation. Then I tried to give him formation. He was like, well, I would have did this, and I would have did that. And I was like, well, if you asked me, I couldn't really do it. It's other stuff going on, too. I just, it's just a lot came. Or the thing is, too, them tears can be done at a later time when you're at home and by yourself, not up in here, not at my studio, and not at your own studio. What you need to do moving forward is that you need to take control, grab the team by the reins, and handle it. You have to make these decisions. You have to own everything that's going on up in this building. Handle this team. Sometimes you have to step in and explain. As a parent, you can't just beat down on your child and not explain why they're even in trouble. All right, let's go. Y'all have purple diamonds to compete against. Kayla is in charge of practice this week. She's going to be making sure that everything that you guys are supposed to be doing for the competition, that you're completely and totally ready. She's gonna be doing cuts. She's gonna be doing everything. See y'all ready? Normally, I do cuts for everything, but since Kayla's running practice today, she's gonna do her own cuts. And I'm gonna stand back and watch, because I wanna see what she's gonna do. Okay, so, can you go ahead and do the group with Shakala, Makaya, and Kenji. Since I'm leading cuts this week, I am going to have cuts my own way. But I don't know if the team is going to just say, oh, cool, Captain leading practice like for real for real this time, or they're just going to look at me stupid like they always do. Kayla got, got the clipboard. Kayla is in control. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Kayla, doing, Kayla cuts. doing cuts. So what you're looking at right now is Miss Downer's protege. Kayla was trained under Diana, watching her with that clipboard. I'm just hoping Kayla taps into that. Kayla is capable. I trust her opinion. If Kayla cuts somebody, then they know it's because I needed to get cut. Y'all go ahead and face off so I can see and it's cuts. So line up, get in front of her. We always have cuts against the mirror, like looking at yourself, but I feel like it'll be different if we have cuts down each other. You're not gonna have that mirror to look at on competition day. I hope she ain't gotta cut nobody because I want nobody hating on me. Ooh. Kayla with her glass and cut me. No, no, <laughs> we have to blow purple diamonds out of the water, out of the Mississippi River. So Kayla's gonna do whatever she needs to do to make sure that the dancing dolls bring home this win against the purple diamonds. You know what is different for them, I'm sure, because they like. We know how to expect Diana to do cuts. We don't know how to expect Kayla to do Right. Mm -hmm. I'm worried about these cuts. Kayla don't play when it comes to doing cuts. And I'm like, Cameron, please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Mm -hmm. Kayla, I love you, Kayla. 
Team Kayla. Cammy might be messed up tonight. No, baby. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, even though Miss D, she may seem a lot harder than Kayla. I feel like Kayla is going to be a little more stricter when it comes to cut, so I don't know what to expect from her. I feel like my girls need to be assertive and need to have a take charge attitude. They need to be able to stand on their own two feet and stand their ground. Kayla is trying to do that. I know my girls are tough, but sometimes testing them just to see how tough they really are is necessary so you can see where you lie with the best of the best. You always late on that. Why? This has to be precise, people. If you're the only one that's off, they're gonna see that. We have some material that is definitely specifically for the dancing dolls. We're gonna have it in our back pocket just in case we need it, but we just wanna be prepared. All right, ladies, we're about to work on our Diddy Boel stands. So the concept is they're out there, their dancing is not up to par, and Coach D has her clipboard and she's cutting the girls, okay? We have this new stand called Didi for L, and of course that is our tribute to the dancing dolls in our own way. We have a young lady that is acting as if she is Miss D. We have another young lady acting as if she's Sanjay. So we're trying to take this up to the next level to do something that we haven't seen done before. Cut, cut, cut. One thing that I know about Miss Diana, she does not like to lose, especially not to Purple Diamond. So I don't think that she wants to go into it a third time and take another L. The only way that you're gonna go in there and win tomorrow is if you are hungry for it. Are y'all gonna do this or not? Yes, ma'am! Brandy, like you dance, like you scary, but I don't know. I think I feel like you can do it, but I just want you to stop dancing like you ain't sure. This is gonna be one of the craziest challenges ever for Kayla. Now Kayla has the opportunity to do what it is that I do. You're holding the mic, you're holding the clipboard, you're running practice, you're in charge. You should be able to just cut them and cut them and cut them without any issues. Okay, Sanjay. You had hot moments. Like, you was good at times, then you start slacking. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't cut me. I really don't want to be cut. Coming up. Who you with? Who you with? We are 2 and 0 right now, so hopefully we'll get a win tonight. That's her. That's the lady from the Florida team. I know why she's here. She knows Battle Royale is coming up. Sanjay, you had hot moments. Like, you was good at times, then you start slacking. This week, Kayla is taking over practice, and Kayla feels that we need to have cuts. She tells me that I was good at times, and then sometimes I was just slacking. Like, I wasn't really giving as much. Like, is she gonna cut me for not giving it my all? Ain't no way. This gotta be some mistake. So what are you saying? Yeah, but overall, I think all of y'all did good. I know y'all just learned it, but with us battling Purple Diamonds, it got to get better. But I feel like the squad is doing good. I ain't finna cut nobody because I feel like, if anything, they should be gold medal champions because we do this every week. Y'all come on. Whew. That was a close one. Start from the three part. Uh, the end of the hair. You want hear when we talked it? The end of the The end of this? No, this. I'm finna teach you, you better have it while I'm teaching you. It needs to be gonna be programmed in your head. So when I count five to seven, eight, it gotta be flawless. We're gonna do it over and over again until it's time to put on our uniform and scratch because I want it to be stuck in there. It's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, six, seven, eight, eight, one, two. two. I don't really know how tomorrow's gonna go. This is the part I'm worried about because I don't know how everybody's gonna feel. What's the issue? Transaction? Okay, come on, let's start giving from before here. It's a risk to have Kayla run practice this week. It's making me start to wonder, damn, did I make a mistake? Did I think that this was gonna work and now it's not working? The 
Dancing Dolls and Purple Diamonds rivalry is really, really big in Jackson. There's so many people that I know are gonna be there, from the alumni to all their parents, to all their siblings, to all their friends. Everybody should be at this event. Okay, y'all. Come over here. I still feel very much on edge about going into this competition. The last two times the Dancing Dolls battled the Purple Diamonds, they lost. If we lose again to them, it's gonna be talk. I don't wanna hear that. Come on, Miss Director, running practice for the week. You have anything you wanna say? I feel like we're gonna do good today. Long as we just remember and stay focused on us, don't worry about them, we're gonna do good. The Purple Diamonds beat us two times in a row. Whoop did he do? We ready, we coming for blood. I'm still a member of the team, not just a captain, I'm still a member. I'm gonna do my job regardless. I just wanna let the team know that I'm here for them and I wanna lead the team to a win. I hope that everybody is on their P's and Q's and knows what they're supposed to be doing today so when you guys get up here to compete, we can try to walk away with a win. Going into the Battle Royale that's coming up next week, and knowing that the Purple Diamonds are gonna be there, it's really important for us to make a statement. We need to let them know that um, we're here and yeah, we're coming for you. Hopefully they get out there and put on an amazing performance. All right, well, let's go in, y'all. Y'all ready? Yep. D, D, four, L. D, D, four, L. You so rich. D Who you with? D Who you with? D Who you with? D Who you with? The Purple Diamonds are known for putting on really good shows. We're one of the best teams here in Jackson. Well, we have a long history of competition with the dolls. We've gone against them in stand battle before. We are 2-0 right now, so hopefully we'll get a win tonight. It's almost time, baby. I'm a proud parent right now. To see Kayla lead the girls, it just confirmed to me that yes, Kayla is the outgoing captain. Yes, this is her last year, but she is going out showing the rest of the team this is what we have to do to keep the dancing dogs where they should and always will be, and that's on top. How you feeling? All right. So why you not crunk like me? It's Purple Diamonds, baby. Come on in. It's going down today. And it's not practice anymore. It's the real thing. With me leading practice, I feel like everything is on me. And your first time leading, you don't want to lose. I'm scared. I know that, but I'm just... I'm here. Mama look like she's hyped and kind of like, I just want this to go by smoothly. The fact that I have such an important job to do, I'm just trying to, you know, shake my nerves. I'm just a little nervous. This your last year as a captain. We know you can do it. I know you can do it. Hella squad know that you can do it. This is going to be a great competition, and they're going to feel proud about what's out there on that floor, win or lose. And let's perk up, baby. It's purple time. OK. Yeah. PD. It's taking so long. God, I know, it's right? It's forever. Especially when we be so anxious and be ready for it to start. I know, right? Oh, Tracy! Tracy, Tracy, Tracy! That's her! That's the lady from the, from the, from the Florida team! The, the Miami Superstars! Miami Superstars coach Tracy walks by. I know why she's here. She knows Battle Royale is coming up. The Battle Royale is like our Super Bowl, per se. She knows Purple Diamonds will be there. We're going to be there. She wants to see what's going on. She's very smart for being here, but I just wish I didn't have to see her. She gave 18 hours for what? No, they're just like, you know, the scouts for football. They sent them out to scout and things no and see the competition. Well, yeah. they she came to study us, honey. She came to, you know, make sure she got that thing on the swing. She like old sailor. She want to see what she can see, see, see. 18 hours, though. She's prepared to battle us again. So I hope Ms. Diana take heed that this lady came 18 hours to see the Dancing Dolls perform. I know we see Tracy again at the Battle Royale. I know there's a chance we might see Purple Diamonds at the Battle Royale. It's gonna be serious at that Battle Royale. These are some good teams that's going head to head. I think it's a real smart move. It's chess, baby. She got a thinking cap on. Coming up. Uh, what are you doing here? I don't want the girls to walk around feeling like Tracy's here to try to throw them off their game. The dolls and the diamonds are in the same building. Everyone wants to come out and see what's gonna happen. Oh, oh! Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
A little birdie told me that Miss Tracy from YCGT Superstars is in the building. Why are you coming back to this cotton picking Southern hospitality state? I want to know. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm coming to check out. It's supposed to be the best of the South, right? Seem to be popping up everywhere lately. Is that a problem for you? It's actually funny. Tracy keeps popping up like a freaking jack in the box. Pop up at the dollhouse. Why are y'all here? Because we wanted to see you. I just felt like it was important for you to meet the team that beat you last time. Pop up in my face at the competition last time. <laughs> now you're popping up here just to try to see what's going on. It's almost like, where's Waldo? Where are you going to be at today? Why? Because I'm trying to figure out why exactly would you be traveling all this way mm -hmm. to come and see the competitions that are going on here in the South. Why I'm not? pretty sure there are I a lot of teams. supposed to be the best of the South, right? You're looking at the Purple Diamonds, you're looking at the Dancing Dolls. You're right. You're coming to see two of the best teams in the South. No look, problem. You look cute. No, I don't look cute. You I look fine. I look fierce. I look You're everything. not on fire. Yeah, yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. Well, enjoy. Have I will. fun. Get some I will. Nachos. No, I don't eat that. I have to wash my figure, baby. This body has to say snatched. Sorry. Okay. We don't eat like that. I do, and I'm still snatched. Mm, not so much. So part of the reason why I came here to watch this competition is because I wanted Diana to completely remember who I am. I definitely got in Diana's head a little bit. I think I shook her a little bit. Right? I'm glad you're here. Thank I you. hope you enjoy the show. Oh, I so can't I wait. I you enjoy it. I can't wait. Please. You don't have no, no video camera in your bag. You don't have, have none of that. No, honey. Okay, so you people, just got your no, visual. because people steal my choreography. I have to steal yours. Okay. I just come and watch. Maybe you should take notes. The dancing dolls, when they compete against us, I'm sure they bring their A game. So I wanted to come and see how they compete against other teams. So I can see, you know, how I need to restructure and prepare my superstars for the next competition. I want to like, enjoy our country ass president. show. Enjoy I my wanna, country I ass wonderful country community teams. Presence, you honey. enjoy it, okay? Yeah. Watch mm -hmm. it. Even though Tracy's here, she's not the target for the day. The Purple Diamonds are the target for today. Tracy just wants to come and watch them. Fine. Sit back, watch, learn, enjoy, honey. Enjoy. Have yeah, fun. Bye now. I don't want the girls to walk around feeling like Tracy's here to try to throw them off their game. I want them to be prepared for whatever it is she's going to say. Hey, y'all, everybody come over here real quick. I just ran into Miss Miami. I don't want them to be thrown off guard. I want them to know that when they see her face, to be like, oh, hey, girl. Tootaloo. She says she's coming to watch the competition. Because, yeah, down south here in Jackson, we do have some amazing community dance teams. I just make sure y'all do what y'all supposed to do. Give her a reason to be paying attention and taking notes. All right, go get done with your hair. It's getting close to the time. Last night, you guys were not as focused as I wanted y'all to be. You know how we had to continue to go over that last eight count. I had to continue to tell you to smile, continue to tell you to bring energy. I don't want to see that out there today, OK? You need to bring your focus here today where we are at this competition. For the Dancing Dolls and the Purple Diamonds, the rivalry is just really out of the box. We're both from Jackson, Mississippi, and when the Dolls and the Diamonds are in the same building, everyone wants to come out and see what's going to happen. Don't sleep on anybody. In the past, we have slacked on people before because we felt like they weren't going to beat us, and we got eliminated. The winner is The last time we were at a competition with the Dancing Dolls, Purple Diamonds got eliminated in the first round, which has never happened before, all right? So you need to give it 110%. Do it better than you ever did at practice this week, OK? I kind of have some mixed feelings about this competition because this is the third time that we've gone up against the Dancing Dolls. You know, we have fans, the Dancing Dolls have fans, and everybody's coming out to see what we have. So we know that we have to really, really think outside the box, come with some creativity, and you know what? That's a lot of pressure. This is the very first thing that they're going to see of you, so I need to see this full out. One, two, three, four. Four. Everybody wants to see the Three, Purple Diamonds four. and the Dancing Dolls. Give them a show. The Purple Diamonds definitely have some surprises in store, some things that you're not used to seeing from us, so it's going to be a good battle. That's good enough. All right, ladies, that was much better. That's what I want to see. So when you get out there, I need to see that same energy from you, OK? OK? OK. All right. All right, heads bowed, eyes closed. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Lord, we have had a really, really rough last few weeks getting prepared for competitions. And Lord, I ask that you be that breath, that extra piece of energy to push and give them that burst to get through every single dance step as they get out here on the dance floor. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. When I walked into the gymnasium and I saw how many people were there, I was like, yeah, but it's on. Since Tracy likes sitting in the stands taking notes, we need to make sure that every stand that we throw 
that it hits hard and it makes a point. Dancing dog! As the girls walk out, I'm very nervous because Kayla led practice. She messes up, we lose, and she takes that home with her, saying she made the team lose. I'd be so devastated if I lose today because it's the Purple Diamonds yet again. Oh, we cannot lose. I'm too hungry for it. We lost to them last time. They feel like they own us so bad. I want this, not only for me, but for the team. Like, we need this. Coming up, Purple Diamonds, they didn't come to fight fair. They came to fight dirty. is our biggest rival in Jackson, and that makes this competition that much more intense because everybody wants the hometown bragging rights. I decided to let Kayla run practice this week. So Kayla has a lot of extra added pressure on her, but she has a lot of attitude and personality, and she's very determined. I feel bad for what's about to happen to the Purple Diamonds. I really do. They like how I walk, how I talk, how I move with so Ferocious. The first thing that Natalia throws, the crowd is loving it. We have a young lady that is acting as if she is Miss D. We have another young lady acting as if she's Sanjay. I'm on edge because I, I wasn't expecting that. I see that the Purple Diamonds, they didn't come to fight fair. They came to fight dirty. Ha ha, very funny. Now, the first thing you got wrong is them ugly red boots. Anybody that knows me knows that I wear four and a half inches or taller when it comes to a stiletto heel. And my shoe game be on fleek on regular. Everybody wanted. I got moves for days. I'm the life up in your pot. The Purple Diamonds throw this stand. And I see it's all about Sanjay. Do you want to make a stand about her? Fine, I'll take that, baby. I'll take whatever. You just don't know me. We ferocious. I definitely think that the Purple Diamonds rely too much on props and gimmicks and less on actual technical training and real choreography. I know that Tracy came to just take notes so she can write her little book report and take the report and turn it in to the team in Miami. But duly note, that when we see you at the Battle Royale, we're coming for you. New choreography, new stands, new formation, new everything. The dancing dolls are pretty good, but they don't point their feet, so I'm guessing that must be a Jackson, Mississippi thing. I guess because I'm a trained dancer, it's really hard for me to look at dancers on the floor and not execute pointing their feet. Taylor had a really rough week with running practice, and I think that everything that she was feeling going through the stressful practices that she had this week, Kayla is killing it. Kayla wants to own her own team. She wants to get her own studio. And by Diana giving her this chance this week, we're just gonna keep pushing and keep moving. like a freaking energizer battery. She done got the crowd on their feet. She got everybody crunk. She look like she about to break her back out there. I'm like, Kayla is doing it. But I'ma keep it real. I didn't for one. I stand, I even try to find the best. Keep me some fun, so if you're ready, ready, let me see. I see Sanjay throwing them inches like, you want to make fun of me? Well, guess what? After I get done with this stand, that look on your face, PD, I put that there. I've seen the Purple Diamonds, I think to prepare my superstars, I'm gonna just have to make sure my girls are really, really energetic. Because that's one of the things that the Purple Diamonds really have. Um, they're so energetic, they don't get tired. So that's one of the things I'm gonna have to really push when I get back home. Clap, 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 clap,
where they pick up the other girl and she does a stretch out move that's normally done on the floor, but you're holding the other girl. But I noticed that everybody is not stable. You have one girl that completely drops the other girl. I'm like, ooh. I guess my expectations were really, really high for the Purple Diamonds based on what I've heard about this ongoing uh, rivalry between the two teams. And I think I was like, unfortunately, let down. I'm not gonna have my girls building pyramids and jumping off the top of a building. Number one, we ain't cheerleaders. We ain't firemen. We ain't in the circus so late. We ain't finna be swinging from the rafters and carrying on. We gonna buck on the ground. We gonna try a few things here and there. We ain't gonna do things that's, that's gonna cause us to break bones. This is a stand where the girls are acting as if they are in the marching band. And we have a guy that's coming out as a drum major. We know that we have to add something new just to give them a little bit of a surprise. The crowd is loving it. You know what? It's really, really creative. The Purple Diamonds are throwing their stand. But then they have this drum major guy come out. So I'm thinking, Jackson State drum majors don't look like that. Who are you? Then a drum major, you can at least put on a suit. Purple Diamonds are gonna try to utilize gimmicks and tricks, which work when it comes to certain judges, because the judges may be all into the entertainment value. I don't know what the judges are gonna think, but it may just work for some reason. surprised at the dancing dolls. They must have had some shut-ins or something because they looked completely different and it worked in their favor. They looked great. I mean, I feel like we're winning the stand battle, but you never underestimate your competitor. And the chair stand has become another crowd favorite, and we want to come away with the win. Kayla threw the chair stand, it ate him alive. That was amazing. When the dancing dogs would hit the split, they completely nail it. They must practice because they look completely different from how they look when they competed against us. Even though the dancing dogs did an amazing job today, I still feel like there's a chance the Purple Diamonds could win. The last time we backed the Purple Diamonds, I felt like we were better than them and we didn't win that day. So who's to say what's gonna happen today? Coming up. I want this, not only for me, but for the team. Like, we need this. Our stand battle champions are... Going into the award ceremony, the girls seem really happy with their performance and very pleased with how well they did. And they should be. The girls got out here today and they just murdered it. They deserve to feel every great, excited emotion that even exists. They did a great job today. Now it's up to the judges. All right, guys. So here you go, what you've been waiting for. The winner of our stand battle. <laughs> this is Kayla's last few months. I want her to go out there 100% confident, 100% unbothered. Woo! I'm real nervous. I know the Purple Diamonds, they have a few flaws. I know our girls was on point, but you never can tell with these judges. With me leading practice, this week just been crazy. Miss Diana is basically giving me like the little 101 to let me see how it is when you're an instructor. If we win today against the Purple Diamonds, I'm be happy because I know that's something that I did. I cannot lose Purple Diamonds again. They're about to announce the winner for Stan Battle, and I have mixed feelings because the judges hold the final card. It's like the judges are like at the gates of heaven waiting to let you in. And I hate that feeling. Our Stan Battle champions are... Dancing Dogs!
being the best in Jackson means having bragging rights. And now we can look back and say, we are the best. Thank you. Thank you. And now that we have finally done what we've been trying to do, it feels really, really good. And the girls worked hard to attain this win. <laughs> The next time the Purple Diamonds go up against the Dancing Gods, you better believe that they're going to be ready because this loss is definitely motivation for us for Battle Royale. We're going to come in and we're going to knock it out the box. It only takes one time for us to lose because we're not going to do it again. You did what you had to do, and you showed that what? I can do it. I can OK. Run. That you can do what? I can run the team. That you can run the team. And, and, I'm, and put the pressure that she put on you. It still didn't matter. When they announced the Dancing Dolls won, I ran to Kayla, because Kayla showed how you handle it. She did exactly what she was supposed to do. She led everything. She did everything. I was proud of her. I'm proud. All right. All right. <laughs> I can't say anything negative about the Dolls today, because they came with their A game, and they won, and they deserved it. So now that I've seen the two best teams in Jackson, the Purple Diamonds and the Dancing Dolls, I know what to do. You know, I'm not saying that I figured them out completely, but at least I know their, their tactics. I know how they try to operate. I saw everything I needed to see. So I think they should watch out, because the superstars are right around the corner. I'm very proud of y'all. I'm really proud of y'all. This week, it was all about pushing yourself, and y'all did that. Every right. day this week, y'all pushed each other. Y'all pushed each other out there on that floor, too. I'm extremely proud of Kayla. She had a really, really rough week. It was full of highs and lows, ups and downs, so I wasn't really sure how she was going to do, but I was really proud. I'm always proud to watch you guys perform like you do. Y'all just let, let it all hang out. And the tongues hanging out, hands hanging out, just like whatever. It was whatever to y'all today. That's, that's when you're winning. Battle Royale is what's up next. Last time we were at Battle Royale, the Dancing Dolls came in second place to the Divas of Olive Branch. These teams need to know, OK, this is not going to happen again. We're going to come at you from all different directions. You're not going to see it coming. I don't care if your ass has a damn submarine with your scope trying to figure out what we're doing. It's not going to work. It doesn't even matter. We're going to come up with the win regardless. So. You make sure that when you step into the ring with the dancing dolls, you got your big girl draws on, because we're definitely going to be kicking the ass of everybody that we see. Y'all deserve to win today, so congratulations on your win. Get ready to go. Deep, deep,